You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to check out another Crayola Marker Maker set. This one is the Wacky Tips, which I've never shown on video. And the next one I'm going to show you is the Emoji Maker. That is the newest, I guess, of all the sets. This one, as you can see, I found on clearance for $12.58, which looks about half price. For ages 8+, plus. Let's learn a little bit more here on the sides. Mix, measure, click. I'm looking forward to that aspect of it. That's always fun to watch. Draw, and then storage. So you can, of course, use your markers to draw, store them. There's a refill set you can get. Now the back. Create your own custom color markers in minutes. Have you ever wondered how markers are made? Now you can find out by mixing colors and assembling your own assortment of markers with the Marker Maker. You get three colors, blue, well they show red, red, blue, yellow, but it's blue, red, yellow. And then of course those combinations can be mixed on this color chart. There's the six wacky tips. So when I come back I will have this out of the box. We'll set it up and we'll continue on showing you the wacky tips Marker Maker. And these bigger tubes I think store nice here. Let me move this in. I'll get some of this set up, but that's a nice spot for those. But I guess it's really depending on how you want to store it. They don't really say you have to store anything in one particular spot. At least it doesn't show it in the instructions that I've seen. So that's kind of what I did last time. And then I guess you could put some of these in here. Okay, and then I'll put some of the caps in the slot next to it. They seem to fit there really nice. Okay, and then I'll, it looks like I should be able to get all these in there. Let's see. Let's just finalize this now before we move on. This way it's all an easy reach for me. Look at that. Nice. That looks good, doesn't it? And then I'll leave the extras there. And then, okay, so these are the two measuring tubes. Now these lock into this part of the base. Here's your little grabber. These have little locks in them, so you can put them in and lock them in. Actually, they don't lock. It's just they need to go into that position. Let's see. Oh, yeah, they do turn. you got to turn them the right way. Okay, so they're in there. And then that's really it. I think I got almost everything out except for these. And then my tips. Let's just check out the tips. The most important thing here, what we have. Okay, so there's the round one. Let's see how many we get. That looks like a, it's like a triple, triple tip. How many of those are there? There's number two. So we get two of those. And then this is a quadruple, so there's four. Let's see, is there another one of those? Yes, so two of those. So it looks like we're going to get two of each, probably. And then a regular tip, two. All right, so that's pretty much it. Oh, no. Three. Three of those. It's hard to keep that all organized. And then this is like a V, almost. They look a little bit different, those two. Okay, those two match. That goes with those. It's like a little flat paddle. And then this one, does this one go with this one? Yes, that's a match. And then a round top, round top. Okay, so there are all the different tips. Let's see if I can just zoom into that now. We've organized it, but disorganized it. But at least you can pause and enlarge the video and kind of see the different shapes. Maybe there's a way I can display them later. I'll show them to you a little better, but there you go. All right. So everything's pretty much out. I will come back now and we will make some markers. I'll get this set up the right way and we will get started. All right. I thought about it a little bit and said, I really want to show you what each tip looks like up close. So you have like this single notch, double notch, triple notch, 
then a wider section with a point, then a flat, almost like a brush, then this rounded tip, and this one kind of looks more like a regular marker. So those are the shapes. And then I am set now. Let me get that out of here. We don't need that anymore. It's a simple process once you decide on the colors. So let's get that ready. Now I will still follow along with their instructions. They first want you to, well, get it all set up, then decide on a color, but you need to have your marker ready and a tip. So I'm going to start with this tip. They want you to put that in first, and it's got to push in, okay? So this will be the first one I'm going to make. I'll get that set. And then colors now. Let's see. So you want everything to equal 15. I want to get this set so that the numbers are right in front so we can see that one. I guess I should have done that to begin with, but wasn't really paying attention. I was just making sure I was getting it set up. All right, so let's start with a color. I don't know if I want to use their color chart completely, but let's try, let's go for this. So nine yellow and then six red. I'm going to call that Halloween orange for now. Okay, nine and six. So six, oh, sorry, nine yellow. Let's do that. Shake them up. So bring this up to nine. That is seven, eight. I think it's close. It's hard when you're on an angle. Sometimes you don't see it exactly what it is. So that was nine of the yellow and now 15 up in the red. Okay, there we go. That is set. Now, uh, using tweezers, gently lower a core into the measuring tube. Then that's going to get moved, but we like to see it travel up the tube. Let's do this. This is kind of in the way of the actual color, which is pretty neat to watch. So let's get this out of the way. We're done with the tips. We're done with this. Let's just do this, and then you can see it travel up. Here we go. I will just leave it, and it seems to be moving down on its own. All right, when that's all soaked up, then I'll do the next step. So I'll just let the camera record on that. You can see it's slowly moving up. Doesn't take long. Okay, now you can just look at it and see. Is it totally soaked up? Is it not totally soaked up? It is. It's pretty much totally soaked up. Okay, now that goes in this, and then I need a cap. I guess I could leave that there. It's all part of the process. Except I want to zoom out a little, a little too much closeness there. There's two sides. There's the sealed side and the open side, so it's going to go like that. So let's put this in. Then your cap. Now it's just going to set on there. And it looks like this lines up with it. Just get that lined up. You'll hear a couple clicks. And then we're good. There we go. So now this will sit. They want it to soak up. So there's these little stands on the side. I don't think you have to do it upside down. Let me see. I don't remember doing it upside down. Cap the marker and stand upright in the stand. Okay, so let me grab a cap. Oh, I have some here. I'll leave the ones in my storage. And then those will just do their thing. Now I'll do one more and then I would like to rinse. I'd like to rinse them out so that I have nice clean 
tubes for colors and then after this color I'm going to start writing these down and marking them so I'm gonna go with six red so six red and then nine blue and I will come up with a name for that one too it's hard to see the lines in those dark colors it's almost like a tealish color and then bring this up to 15 I can see from the side okay a little sloppy there but uh, I think we'll be okay drop this in and then let that do its thing I will get another tip ready okay let's say I will do this triple tip now pushed in get a cap I'll definitely do all six I'll do six colors with the six tips so we can test them all out let's see oh, there's still some in there you almost just want to flip it over but we will leave it about all I can do is just wait I think that's pretty good there's a little bit in there I'm gonna let it sit a second here and then I will move it to here push it down get your top remember to protect your surface too so if you're working on something that you're not supposed to be working on, make sure you protect it. Okay. So I'm going to go wash what I have. Maybe I'll run the video just on these. I'll remove the sound here. I'll take a cap off. And we'll see how long these take. And I'll just let the video run on this. Let me get set up. I'll be back. Okay, the first two are set. And now I am ready to get started here on the next two. I do need to reset up everything. I washed, oh, I got some stuff in the way here on my piece of plastic from the packaging. Okay, so I've decided on my first two colors. I'm changing my name. Not my name, I'm changing the name. The first one is going to be Orangey Warnji. That's my color. This one here is going to be boingy blue. Boingy. I think I'm going to do all E's like orangey, orangey, boingy blue. And then I got to get some kind of green in there. So let's look on the green spectrum. So six blue, nine yellow. Let's do that one. Now let's do this too. So you can kind of stop me when it's right at the angle. I can't really see. I'm higher up. Besides being sloppy, and then six blue, nine yellow. This should be a green. Let's see. Go up to 15 now. I will try it to be neater next time. But it is hard. These are hard to squeeze. You really have to squeeze hard to get it out. Okay. Okay. Looks like I'm above, but I think I'm okay. There's that one. And then... I want a red, so three yellow. All right, I'll try to be real neat here. As neat as possible. Three yellow. 
Well, it's easier with a lighter color, that's for sure. Okay. And 12 red. So up to the top. You really got to get two hands in there. Squeeze. Okay, there's my next two. All right, I'll tell you what. I think they'll both snap on pretty easy. Let's grab a tip. A marker first, and then a tip. We'll do this oddly shaped one. Look at that. Can't wait to test all these out. It sits in a little further. I noticed some of them were longer than the others in regards to the tops. I don't know if you noticed that when I showed you. Okay. Look at that. Ooh, an ice cream. You can see the greenness. Okay, so there's the green one. What would you do for green? Hmm, I'm going to come up with something for green. Let me think here. My pen. How about Gucci Green? And not in reference to any particular product. I'm going to spell it G-O-O-C-H-Y. Gucci Green. All right, and now the red one. Let me get, I'm going to use this three or four tip here. Okay, perfect. It goes pretty quick once you get your system down. I mean, you don't have to rinse out the tubes. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe the next colors I'll just randomize. How about I do that? Since I tried to stick with their colors. There is the red one. Okay, and I'm just going to make up colors now. For my last few tips, I'm going to just put some blue, some yellow, and some red. What do you think that's going to be? Some kind of purple? And in this one, it's got some green in there now. So let's put some yellow. A lot of yellow. Blue. A little bit of blue. And fill the rest up with the red. So hopefully I should have some different color combinations there. There must have been seven tips. Let's see. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Oh, there's a lot more of those. There's three more shapes. So it looks like I'm going to have to make one more after this. Ooh, this one's looking brown. Bungee brown. How's that sound? You can kind of see this one in the background. It's moving up pretty quick. Now they did want you to put the caps on. I'm leaving the caps off. So if you want to point that out and uh, point that out, but I'm doing it for a reason so that we can see it. Okay. Let's pick another tip. Let's pick this rounded one. Now these colors, we have no idea. It looks a shade of brown. Okay, and then this tip now, it's this pointy tip, looks like a regular marker tip to me. Ooh, there must have been some extra in that.
Okay, I'll have to name these later. All right, one more. I think I'm just going to leave the color that's in there and go mainly yellow. Here, I'll do it on this one since there's not a lot of color left. Okay. Let's see what this one ends up being. Well, that's kind of cool. Look at the tip on this one. It's just almost there. I'll show you these the tips on these, huh? Well, this is going. I'm gonna let. I'm just gonna hang out here. All right. So I have orangey, orangey, boingy blue, Gucci green. Let me get my tabs here. I remember it being hard to write with the markers on the actual. They give you a tiny spot to write. So I almost think I want to use a pen, but I'll use the marker. This one here. It's got a nice yellowish color. Okay, let me finish this last tip. Then I will come back with all of my markers and my boxes. Check out the colors, have a little fun. Let's see, this one soaked up. Yes. Look at that. Ooh. It's kind of like mangy yellow. Maybe that's my color. It is a G one mean G. Okay. Last of the tips. I'm good. I'll wash the two uh, store uh, the two measuring tubes. Come back then. I'll see. Maybe I'll let this one go as well too, and you can just watch it. Although it may not focus. So I'll just leave it like that. I will come back then. You've already seen it transform. I'll be back in just a little bit. All right, I just realized that I can't write with these because I have wacky tips. And I don't, ooh, what was that sound? I don't know. So let's do the first one here. This was the orangey orangey. I have a Sharpie here. It'll fit right in here. Let's see, orange, and I'm gonna spell it with the Y's. Orangey, orangey. W-O-R-N-G-Y. Now let's put that on our marker and decide. How am I going to show orangey orangey? Here we go. Now you got to find where that cap is. Let's put it this way. Okay. Nice. Now let's color in orangey orangey with this tip. Now let's look at the tip and what it does. So now That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Here's what I'll do. I'll take a little piece of paper and we'll kind of remember what each tip is. Here's Tip one, orangey orangey. All right, you're marked and you're ready. The next one was boingy blue. Boingy. Ooh, wrong tip. Boingy, boingy, B O N G Y is how I'm spelling this. B O I N G Y blue. Okay. Taking the tip off so I know where this marker or this label is supposed to end up, otherwise it'll cover the tip. Okay, boingy blue. Let's do well first let's do our test line. You ready? Okay. And let's do this one here. Boingy blue. That's pretty cool. Well you can change the angle, I guess, and get a little different slant or Okay, and then the next one was the Gucci Green, and I spelled that one. I keep taking the wrong end of my Sharpie off. G O O C H Y. I 
can't wait to see my other colors. My made up, completely made up, mixed up colors. Okay, now this one has got a unique tip. Well, they all have unique tips. It's a point and a flat line. And it's pretty far apart. So we'll do this one here. Yeah, I'm gonna put my hand on this side. Oh, I got the wrong angle. You gotta get it just right to keep it level. Okay. There's my first three. Now this one, let's just see what color it is. It's the red one. So let's do, let's see, something G. Hmm. How about we call this one mangy red? How's that mangy? Oh, well, that was gonna be, the, was that gonna be the yellow? Hmm, totally forgot. Hmm. Oh, uh, so we want to name it a red, but uh, how about grouchy red? I like grouchy. I'm not feeling grouchy. But red, you know, that's not a color you normally want to paint your walls. They say red invokes violence when you paint your walls that color. I don't remember where I heard that, but this is the four. Ooh, I like this one. So if you paint your walls bright red, okay, so yeah, you really can change the angle here. I might just take a piece of paper after this to kind of So don't paint your walls red. If they are red, it's okay. I'm just saying. That's what I heard. Okay. All right, now these. I totally don't even know what colors they are because I made them up. So here is the rounded tip. Hmm. It's like a brown, but it's kind of like licorice kind of a color. Hmm. How about, uh, yeah, I like this, crungy. My own word, crungy. Crungy brown. Not cringy, but crungy. Did I put my labels on differently? Okay. And not grungy, but crungy. That's the color. Okay. And then, yeah, I think I did. I think I have the, let me see, the label going this way on this one. The label going this way on this one. That is correct. The label going that way on that one. Oh, I think I'm okay. And then this one here. Now, this is another tip. All right, I'm getting a little disorganized here. This was just the pointy tip. Ooh, it's a different kind of green than my last green. So I will call this one It reminds me of peas. I don't know why. I'm gonna call it, uh, let me see. Okay, it's green. It reminds me of peas. And I gotta stick with my ngs. We have Gucci green, crunchy brown, grouchy red, boingy blue, orangey warangy. And this will be, oh, wrong side again. Hmm, it's kind of like peaish in color. Oh, well, let's just call it that, pingy green. So like peas, pingy green. That's just the color I decided, that's just the name I decided. You may or may not agree with that name. But this is what I'm going to do. Okay, there's my pinch of green. Last color. This oddball. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're on track. This is just a flat tip. 
I think this would be the mangy. Yeah, it's kind of mangy. Mangy yellow. That fits that one. Mangy. I'm going to spell it my own way. M A N G Y. Not mangy. Mangy. And let's get it on my little cover so you can kind of get a feel for all the colors on white. All right, so there is my color schema for today. So yeah, let me just get a flat piece of paper and just doodle a little and check on angles and all that and see how that affects the tip. So I am not done. I have named them all. I will be back now. All right, I'm not going to do anything specific. I'm just going to try different angles. So the first one, this is my orangey warangy. Be gentle with your marker tips, yes. Grouchy red. This one was pretty neat. So I guess you can make it solid just by using one corner. Okay. And then, oh, boingy blue, boingy blue. Pretty cool. And then my mangy yellow. It does look mangy. It's not very bright, it's got a little brown. This is just a flat tip, but look, you can change the angle and get really skinny lines out of that one. And then pingy green, like peas. This is just a regular rounded tip. And then Gucci green. Now you'll see the two differences in colors here. Look at that. Much brighter, almost hinting towards teal on that. So you got the thick line and then you got a thin line. So you can almost do that. And the last one is crunchy brown. The oddest of all the colors, but look, it is crunchy. Reminds me of like licorice. But you can't do much with that. Make nice dots. But I don't want to ruin the tips of my markers. All right, what do you think? I will come back then, finalize my box, clean up, and wrap it up. All right, I am set. Just a couple little detail things. This should go on and clip on. Oh, let me get these off. I've got everything in now. Up here, there we go. There we go. Okay, there's that. Here's my creation. Dave's markers. Yes, I know. Punctuation. But I don't like it. Not today. It'd be cool to someone send someone this set. My markers. I would too if someone wanted them. There you go. That's for eight, but I have seven. Sorry. There. Dave's without the apostrophe S markers. And thanks for watching. I know just one of those videos I happen to make. Felt like making it today. Hope you enjoyed it. Of course, there's another box. And you have the instructions. And plenty more for this. And your color chart. That'll probably all fit on the bottom tray. So if you want to see those other Crayola products, look at that description. I have a playlist there. And thanks for watching this video. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. 
Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up.